Hello, uh, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about a quick video on how to publish player reports to GitHub pages from GitHub Actions. Um, my name is Ben. I run a uh, QA agency that does a lot of work with Playwright I'm here to try to offer some tips. So um, anybody that's worked with Playwright before should know that you can run uh, local reports pretty easily. You just do your old MPX Playwright show report. Um, that works great. It opens up a port on your computer. Um, the problem becomes when you want to uh, ship over reports to another user. Um, if you've tried to do that, what that basically would be is you zip up your reports folder, you, you know, email it to somebody to look at. And unless they're going to run Playwright and open up that reports folder through Playwright, which is actually a very reasonable solution, they're going to have a hard time seeing all the trace files. Now, um, Playwright does have a option where you can go look at trace files, um, trace.playwright.dev, uh, you can drag them in at the same point. The downside of this is that you can only ever look at one trace file at a time. So um, the solution that we've used here at Loop is going to be basically using GitHub Actions to publish a report to uh, a GitHub page. So. Um, why is this great? Uh, it's because anybody with access to the internet and who has certain creds can get access to the report. And more importantly, all of your trace files are going to be um, within the report itself. So you don't ever have to deal with trying to find, uh, you know, different trace files for different tests. It's all hosted by GitHub. Um, now, to, to quickly start at the, the high level, um, GitHub Pages is going to be turned on within GitHub. Uh, you go into settings of the repository and then you go down to Pages. And your first step here is you're going to want to make sure that GitHub Pages is both activated and that its uh, source is GitHub Actions. Um, now, one of the key components of GitHub Pages uh, for not enterprise GitHub accounts is that they are public. So one of the biggest reasons to not use GitHub Pages if you're not using GitHub Enterprise is going to be that it's um, a public URL. That being said, if you don't have you know hypersensitive information or you have you know already a public-facing application, you're just testing that. Um, that's normally not a huge problem, but it is something for you to be aware of. Uh, when you turn on GitHub Pages, it's going to give you a default live site. Normally, it's just an extension based off of your base uh, GitHub. Um, when you do get this site, though, the first time you load it, there's going to be nothing there, so you're just going to get basically an empty page. Um, so what we're going to do quickly is just go back to the um, GitHub Actions, and we're going to look at the process. So the way that this project is set up, you install uh, Playwright onto a Linux machine, you run your jobs, you then merge all those reports together and you publish them to the GitHub page. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about merging reports in a different video, so we're not gonna focus too much on that. Um, like everything else in GitHub Actions, it's gonna be controlled through a YAML file. So when we look at um, this specific piece, it really comes down to um, right here. It's set up pages. Um, it, it uses this action slash configure dash pages dash v2. It then uploads an artifact to those pages with action slash uh, dash pages dash artifact v1. Um, and then you give it your path. That path is always going to come from the previously uploaded artifact that is your, your report. And then you deploy to the pages right here. So this line of code is going to be the most important. Um, works like a charm every single time. Now, it sometimes can take upwards of one or two minutes, which is totally fine. Um, as your suite gets bigger, I don't know if that's going to drastically extend. That is kind of one limitation that I am aware of. Um, but moral of the story is that um, this is how you are going to um, take a playwright report uh, within GitHub Actions uh, and merge it, right? So you're going to merge it. Oops, excuse me, not merge it, upload it. You're going to merge it. Then you are going to upload it to your artifacts, and then you are going to deploy it to your GitHub pages. And after that, you will then have a URL as shown that shows um, your reports. So really fantastic tool, really great way to have um, folks that don't need to run Playwright on their computer get access to your reports. And then just as a reminder, 
Um, when it comes to public versus private, um, always use the enterprise GitHub um, in order to uh, make these GitHub pages private. You just use the same collaborators login. They'll log in with their GitHub credentials. And it's actually not that expensive. I think it's like 20, I don't want to say the wrong price. Um, I think in total for like our whole company, we're paying like 200 bucks a month. So really not that bad when you look at, you know, 15 different users. All right. Well, that was how to publish playwright reports to GitHub pages from GitHub Actions. Thanks.